Hey Virgo, it's Suzanne. How are you? All right, so we're going to do your reading for May 6th through May 12th. Okay. All right. Let's see what the general energy is for you and the person that you're watching this for. Okay. All right, starting with Balancing masculine and feminine energies. Allow your feminine side to creatively inspire you and your masculine side to give you confidence. That card has been showing itself a lot lately, it seems like. And then down here we have value your self-worth, okay? You are God's precious gem. Did you feel like that this morning? I hope so. You are. Virgo, you are God's precious gem. <clears throat> okay, so let's see. What do we have going on for Virgo? One more. The Empress. Wow. Right alongside that balancing masculine and feminine energies. And then we have the Eight of Swords. Okay. So somebody's feeling trapped right now, and I feel like, you know, and it's self-imposed. It's self-imposed. It's in your head. Um, you know, and it's somebody that's questioning their value and their worth, okay? And yet up here, we have the Empress who, who I feel wants to... to nurture and give and be loving towards this person. Like I almost feel I feel like this is more the feminine energy and this is more the masculine energy. This is the person that is questioning their self-worth right now. Look at this, strength. Card of Leo. This is also a balance of flexibility and strength, right? So, you know, right in line with this balancing of masculine and feminine energies. You... I feel like this is you and I feel like you are helping this person with their over, you know, feeling. They may not show it to you. 10 to 1, they don't show this to you at all. This is something that's very deep under the, you know, very hidden. This person is intimidated by you. Clear as day. Look at this. Two of Swords. You know, and in this deck, you know, with that moon there, they're trying to figure out, you know, am, should I even, you know, this person stands out like no other to... To this to, to them you stand out to them like no other like you're like one of a kind this person is very fearful that it's like you're gonna see through like the veil that they have up like the mask that they wear if they get too close to you you're gonna see through you're gonna see through this and that that terrifies them. 
And what's crazy is that I think this person here is, is honestly in some way, ma you know, making you feel like they're not interested. Oh my God, is that ever not true? They are interested. They're very interested. The decision here is not between whether they want to go towards you or not. It's about do they have what it takes or don't they to be in this empress energy that you're projecting. Very confident, very strong. Almost, you know, there might be there might be some masculine energy coming towards this person that this person isn't used to from a feminine energy, right? So when, when it's talking about balancing masculine and feminine, if you're if you are the, the one chasing it that keeps this out of balance. That feels that doesn't feel right to to the masculine energy. So if you're chasing, if you're texting, if you're calling, if you're doing this repeatedly, be mindful of that. That comes across as very masculine energy. And that can be confusing. Knight of Pentacles. Well, maybe you're not doing that. <laughs> Um, but it still feels like you're coming towards them. Even if you're doing it in bits and pieces and you're doing it slowly. Look at this. Wow. It's like a storm came through. <laughs> um, so we got two of swords, three of swords. This person, you know, I feel like is, they might be heartbroken over something, but they also might be in a struggle of head over heart, which is very clear here with all of these swords. Swords is thinking, right? So, you know, I feel like this person is just, you know, the next card after this is nine of swords. And then four of swords after this card, which, you know, is, you know, just taking a break from it. This feels very overwhelming. This is an overwhelming energy to this person. They are intimidated by you. And you're just, you know, you're on your lion and your horse and you're just, you know, you're good. You don't see any of this. You don't see it and they're not sharing it with you. And this is about their self-worth. There are definitely, there's definitely some growth and lessons for this person. And I think, you know, what's interesting is I feel like this person actually, you know, helped you to, to feel in this Empress energy, like, they build, they're, they're somebody that builds you up, right? They're somebody that compliments you. They're somebody that tells you, you know, what you're, what you're good at, what they love about you. They've built you up. Question, have you done that for them? Have you told them what you like about them, what you love about them, what they're good at? If, you know, you, you may have, okay? So, don't get me wrong, but if you haven't, you know, it that now might be a good time to do that, to let them know. Because something here is really keeping this person, you know, just kind of in a mental trap prison. Six of Wands.
something something could have hurt this person's ego, you know, and it, it definitely could be something between the two of you, something very unintentional, but I feel like this person's ego got, you know, got hurt. That's possibly where this Three of Swords is coming from. I almost feel like if it was, you know, at an event or something and you were recognized and this person was not, I feel like that was embarrassing to them. Something that you would never think, you know, would be embarrassing necessarily, but I feel like it was very um, embarrassing to them, made them feel less than. I'd say, you know, advice up here is just if you're chasing, you know, pull it back. And if this person doesn't know what you think is so great about them, it might be a good time to let them know. It feels like they, they need it. And it doesn't feel like this is somebody that's, you know, that regular regularly pumps themselves up, okay? Um, I don't think this person had a whole lot of ego to lose in the first place. <laughs> Honestly, I don't feel like this is a very prideful person. I just feel like something really hurt this person's ego. You may know better than me what that was. I don't feel like it was intentional. And I don't feel like there's any, you know, I don't feel like there's bad blood here at all. I just feel like this could be a misunderstanding this could be, you know, somebody who has a very strong feminine energy that, you know, you, you may not be aware of, of how it's coming across or if it's intimidating to this person, Libra, okay? That this person is, is not talking to you about it. They're in their head about it. That's kind of a, that's a, you know, not the healthiest place to be, okay? I don't know. I don't know where, I don't know where some of this energy is coming from today. Let's see. Yeah, just like I said, you know, this could be a new connection. There's definitely new love here. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So that makes it all the more painful, you know, when, you know, they feel like their, their pride has been hurt in any way or their ego has been hurt. Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So maybe that's, maybe that's the next step, you know, maybe you guys haven't had a lot of quality, you know, one-on-one -on -one time together. Maybe it's been mainly with friends and in groups and, um, you know, maybe you don't fully, you know, haven't spent enough time to really know each other first, you know, before doing that. So you wouldn't know when something like this happens and because the relationship is fairly new if not brand new <laughs> as far as the connection goes um you know this person's not going to tell you this right but they feel they feel a lot of love towards you you know and i feel like you feel like i feel like this would be a very big surprise to you like you would never never suspect that in the person that you're you're with and yet this is where they're at when they're alone so somehow maybe getting to the point where they feel you know comfortable possibly sharing some of this with with you and then it doesn't hurt to let them know maybe how wonderful you think they are too all right so that's what I have for you, Libra. 
I don't know if this is for somebody specific. Some of these feel very specific this time, but, uh, but I feel like it's good information to have if you don't know, you know, what is, what may be going on with your person. All right, so that's what I have for you, Libra, and have a great week, and I'll talk to you next time. All right, bye.